Grand Union was an American chain of grocery stores that did business primarily in the northeastern United States from 1872 until 2013. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. What's in a name? Smart shoppers know Grand Union means tender choice meats. Country fresh produce, a Grand Union of all good things. And here's just one. Deer Park Sparkling Water, the 100% spring water from America that says bon voyage to sparkling water with important prices. And now you can win a free weekend at the Playboy Club in the Toast of the Town sweepstakes from Deer Park. Deer Park 100% Sparkling Water. It's on sale now. Good things from Grand Union. Cyrus, Frank, and Charles Jones founded what was to become Grand Union in 1872. They called the business the Jones Brother Tea Company, starting with one store in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where the shelves were stocked with coffee, tea, spices, baking powder, and flavoring extracts. The brothers expanded the business steadily, branching out with new stores in eastern Pennsylvania, Michigan, and New York. By the time it built its headquarters and warehouse in Brooklyn, New York, the company was known as the Grand Union Tea Company. In 1912, Grand Union was a 200 outlet chain store with operations across the country. In addition to its business establishments, the company supported a small army of 5,000 door-to-door salesmen and delivered goods in horse-drawn wagons. The brothers incorporated the Jones Brothers Tea Company in 1916. Grand Union used its financial strength through the 1920s to acquire other food businesses including Progressive Grocery Stores, the Union Pacific Tea Company, and Glenwood Stores. After merging with the Oneida County Creameries Company in 1928, the Jones Brothers reincorporated under the Grand Union name. During the 1930s, Grand Union grew to be one of the country's most thriving food chains. In 1931, the company had 708 small stores and $35 million in sales. The next decade saw the development of the supermarket concept. The idea was to house a range of groceries including meat, dairy products, and inedible packaged goods under one roof. When Lansing P. Shield took over as Grand Union president in the early 1940s, he embraced the supermarket format and plunged the company forward into a new era of food marketing. Grand Union was one of the first companies to utilize the format. Shield helped evolve the supermarket concept by demanding that the spacious supermarkets be designed carefully so as not to overwhelm customers used to smaller shops. Shield suggested breaking down the open spaces by building more walls and dispersing special product displays throughout the aisles. By the mid 1950s, Grand Union operated about half the number of stores it did in the 1930s, but the stores churned out nearly seven times the volume of sales. By then, the company had outgrown its Brooklyn headquarters. It opened a new facility in Elmwood Park. New Jersey, in a red brick tower that was later to become a community landmark. When grocery stores became involved in the discounting business, Grand Union was again one of the first in the food business to welcome the idea. The first Grand Union general merchandise discount store, called Grand Way, opened in 1956 in Keensburg, New Jersey, and after the Keensburg store proved a success, the company opened another in Albany, New York. By 1962, Grand Union had 21 stores. In the early 1970s, Grand Union entered another phase of supermarketing, the so-called Superstore. These shopping emporiums sought to provide customers with a myriad of products of every kind at one locale. A Grand Union Superstore, for example, offered consumer goods such as prescription drugs, auto parts, clothing, shoes, and household gadgets, as well as the usual mix of groceries. 
By 1973, Grand Union was operating 10 such superstores. Although these new businesses were not failures, they did not contribute enough to the company's bottom line to justify their continued existence. British corporate raider Sir James Goldsmith acquired Grand Union in 1973 for $64 million. Grand Union was a money loser during much of Goldsmith's time of ownership. Goldsmith presided over the closing of Grand Way Chain in 1978 and the exit of Grand Union for most of the rest of the nation outside of the Northeast and New England in the mid-1980s. Goldsmith sold the chain to Floyd Hall and a group of investors in 1988. The chain, however, was quickly resold. In 1989, investment banker Gary Hirsch, a partner in the firm Miller, Tabak, Hirsch & Company, acquired a portion of the Grand Union Company with the Solomon Brothers. Under Hirsch's leadership, the company was driven into serious debt and ran out of necessary capital for store improvements and upgrades, making it difficult for them to compete with other better financed retailers. Still, gradually, Grand Union remodeled most of its stores. Some of its older run-down stores were closed and converted to other uses. Grand Union's big disadvantage was that its average store size was 35,000 square feet while most supermarkets were being built were over 50,000 square feet. The company also built a few larger stores. In 1995, Grand Union's ongoing financial difficulties forced the company into its first bankruptcy as it filed for Chapter 11. In 1996, shortly after Grand Union emerged, Hirsch announced his resignation and sold his share of the company. In 1997, Grand Union brought in J. Wayne Harris to begin a turnaround of the ailing chain. Harris immediately began remodeling stores and building larger ones, which put even more stress on the company's finances and forced another Chapter 11 filing in 1998. The company emerged again in 1999 and had $175 million in new capital, which Harris used to finish the remodels on the stores that were still in the process and to acquire more construction permits for larger stores. He also used some of the money for new store formats with three emerging. One was Grand Union Fresh Market, which catered mostly to the upscale gourmet clientele, more in the vein of its competitor Kings. Another was a discount grocery store named Megasave. A third was Grand Union's answer to limited selection chains such as Aldi and Save-A-Lot called Hot Dot. None of these ideas worked out, and again Grand Union's finances reached dire straits. In addition to this, many of Grand Union's executives were found to have been stealing money such as Don Vayencourt who was convicted of embezzling over $2 million from the company in 2002. In October of 2000, Grand Union filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy for a third time. Two months later, the bankruptcy was converted to Chapter 7 bankruptcy after it was discovered that the damage Harris's failed ideas and the embezzlement scandal had done to the company left it with so little money that Grand Union could not operate or supply any of its stores. Grand Union's Chapter 7 filing had a large effect on its supplier, CNS Wholesale Grocers, a New England-based wholesale food distributor of which Grand Union was its largest customer. CNS also was one of the Grand Union's largest creditors and made a stocking horse offer to take control of the company in early 2001. That was approved. Shortly afterwards, CNS began reorganizing Grand Union's operations. This resulted in a consolidation that left the chain with only a relatively small number of stores in smaller cities and towns across upstate New York and New England. In addition, Grand Union's stores in the Northeast, where it was long established, were closed. Many of the Grand Unions were sold to other chain stores. As for the stores that remained under the Grand Union banner, they became part of a rebranded Grand Union Family Market, 
complete with a new logo that discarded the 1980s red dot logo. Many of the stores did keep the red dot, although not all of them did. On July 19, 2012, Topps Markets announced that it would acquire the 21 remaining Grand Union stores in the Adrian Dac region and parts of Vermont. On May 28, 2013, grand reopening ceremonies were held for nine stores which had been rebannered under the Topps Friendly Markets name. The remaining 12 stores held re grand reopening ceremonies on July 2, 2013, under the Topps Friendly Markets banner, effectively bringing an end to the Grand Union supermarket chain. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.